Hello there. I'm Henry Li of BlueHeronArts.com. Now I'm going to、uh, show you the process of making、um, glue allen solution for Gongbi painting.、Um, as you know, the、uh, Gongbi style painting required、uh, this、uh, solution made of uh, uh, the Mingjiao gelatin and uh, uh, allen powder.、Uh, The proportion to make a uh, glue alum solution is uh, uh, roughly two to one. Two portions of、uh, glue and、uh, one portion of uh, uh, alum. Uh, precisely,、um, you will find、uh, on Google or、uh, in the books、uh, seven portions、uh, of、uh, glue. And、uh, three portions of uh, alum. Um, according to、uh, season, you might adjust the、uh, amount of alum, and、uh, so it might vary uh, from uh, uh, six to four or、uh, eight to two. And this,、uh, in the spring and the autumn,、uh, seven to three is the standard.、Um, so I just、uh, give you a rough number, two to one, to remember. So when you buy Uh, the material you want to buy、uh, two bags of、uh, Mingjiao gelatin and one bag of、uh, alum. Besides the、uh, glue and the alum, you you will need this uh, uh, water container. And I find this、uh, coffee bottle is very uh, useful for this purpose.、Um, it will serve as a tool of、uh, a shaker, also、uh, easy to store. Uh, when you when you have、uh, complete the、uh, solution, and you also need the, the、uh, measure of uh, uh, teaspoons uh, here, and uh, uh, to make a cup of uh, uh, solution, uh, the proportion would be、uh, one and a half teaspoon glue and.、Uh, Um, a, a three quarters of、uh, three quarters of alum. Step one,、um, you need to measure the、uh, glue. To make a、uh, one cup of、uh, solution, you need uh, uh, one and a half teaspoon of、uh, Mingjiao gelatin. So this is how convenient because I use a big bottle, big mouth bottle. It's very easy to. Okay, now I use a half teaspoon to measure this. So I put one teaspoon earlier and then a half teaspoon of、uh, gelatin. Then add.、Uh, Warm, lukewarm water, about、uh, just uh, about uh, one inch uh, above the okay in the bottle of,、uh, to melt it to soak it.、Uh, it this would take uh, uh, from uh, several hours to overnight. So you can do something else in this time, and we'll come back、uh, to add hot water to dissolve the uh, glue thoroughly, and then add uh, uh, three quarter teaspoon of、uh, alum. So at this time,、uh, the amount of water、uh, is not that important. Eventually, we'll add up to one cup of、uh, water. Um, as the, the final solution,、uh, so at this time you can add、uh, just about、uh, one inch of、uh, warm water as preparation, and then come back、um, in a couple of hours. You can.、Play. Okay, after two hours of uh, uh, soaking, you can see the、uh, 
gelatin starts to swallow and uh, uh, expand uh, and uh, soften. So um, I'm going to put uh, hot water into it now. Uh, the hot water is uh, boiled, uh, boiled uh, water, and you wait about a couple minutes. Uh, not supposed to use uh, 100 uh, um, boiling water, but uh, uh, about 80 centigrade or uh, 180 or something uh, Fahrenheit. Uh, so you you just pour into this uh, cold uh, water, so it will uh, blend together to become rather hot, but not boiling. So we add up to one cup. Uh, this bottle is uh, 285, uh, or a little, you know, like uh, a little more than one cup, uh, uh, 281 milli milli milliliter. The extra room here um, above the cup of water is perfect for shaking. Um, so I'm going to close the lid. This is why I use this bottle, so you can uh, close the lid. Okay, you can shake gently to make sure the uh, gelatin are all dissolved. Actually, once you put in the hot water, it dissolves immediately. So you don't need to shake that hard at this step. Um, the next is to uh, add uh, alum. But it is advised that you wait until this uh, hot water to cool down before you add alum powder into it. Uh, so we will wait about uh, half an hour uh, or one hour, doesn't matter, until it cool down. And then uh, we'll come back to add uh, alum to it. Okay, now it's uh, cool. Um, we can add uh, alum to the solution. Okay, now we're going to add uh, three quarter teaspoon of uh, alum. So I uh, first use a uh, half teaspoon. And then use uh, um, a quarter teaspoon. So together is a three quarter teaspoon. This is the proportion. Um, one and a half teaspoon glue or gelatin uh, with a three quarter teaspoon of uh, olive. Okay. So close the lid tightly, uh, make sure it's uh, firm and uh, shake like that. So uh, until the, uh, the powder, olive powder thoroughly dissolved, uh, you, uh, it's ready to use. You can store it in a refrigerator if uh, you, um, you need um, and it will last uh, for about months. Uh, so there's no need to add more water uh, unless uh, if it turns to kind of jello, uh, that means the water is not enough. Um, so you need to add more water. In that, if that happens, it should not uh, turn to jello if uh, you got enough water. So basically the proportion is uh, again uh, one and a half teaspoon gelatin plus uh, three quarters teaspoon of uh, alum and uh, one cup of uh, water. Uh, you can use this for um, treat the raw shrine, the unsized shrine, uh, to become mature or sized shrine. So this is the so-called size uh, solution that we use. So uh, you can make your own 
uh, size is shown or show Xuan in Chinese and uh, also you can use as a uh, fixing solution to uh, to fix the color wash between different layers um, that we discussed uh, in other uh, class and also uh, you can uh, use it as a final um, how to say glaze or uh, matte finish to wash the entire painting um, especially when you when you wash too much the paper uh, surface tends fuzzy you can make uh, the surface uh, uh, flat so we'll we'll do all the demos later if we got time uh, in later classes um, I would like to thank uh, Professor Rao for her advice uh, during this video and uh, I'm looking forward to make uh, more videos the next time when I go back to China with uh, Professor Rao and uh, uh, thank everybody on YouTube for watching this series Happy Painting, Happy Painting uh, in Gumbi style Goodbye